This is Jim Colton from GraphPad. In this video, I will highlight the major new features of PRISM 9. PRISM 9 introduces a number of great improvements, including all new analyses and graphs, such as principal components analysis, bubble plots, and estimation plots, as well as major improvements to the performance of existing features, such as an expansion of the multiple variables data table and multiple t-tests and important time-saving ease-of-use features such as adding ANOVA multiple comparison results to graphs with a single click. Let's start with the multiple variables data table, which now allows both continuous and categorical variables. Instead of coding a text variable with zeros and ones, simply enter text such as male and female directly in the data table. PRISM automatically identifies each variable as either continuous, categorical, or label. Just enter your data and let PRISM take care of the rest. And identifying typos or inconsistent entries for a category is easy to spot and fix. If you are performing a multiple regression or multiple logistic regression analysis, PRISM will automatically encode categorical text predictor variables into numeric dummy variables when performing the analysis, and you have complete control over defining the reference levels. In PRISM 9, this data table and all the others have increased to 1,024 columns and 512 subcolumns. Another major addition to the multiple variables data table is principal components analysis, or PCA. PCA is a technique of dimensionality reduction that can be used to reduce the number of variables while eliminating as little information from the data as possible. You can quickly access it by clicking on the PCA button in the Analysis toolbar. PRISM 9 allows both standardized and unstandardized PCA and can decide for you how many principal components are needed via parallel analysis. Five PCA graphs are also available to help interpret your results, as well as automatic preparation of PCA results for further use in multiple linear regression. The multiple variables data table also has a new graph type, the bubble plot, which utilizes the new categorical feature now available in these data tables. This is the first of many new multiple variables graphs planned for version 9. Think of a bubble plot as an XY scatter plot with up to two added dimensions. The X and Y variables are continuous, just like in an XY scatter plot, but two additional variables can be represented by the symbol color and symbol size. These additional variables can be categorical or continuous. In this example, all four variables are continuous. Another important graphical addition is the estimation plot, which is automatically generated after both paired and unpaired t-tests. With this graph, the raw data from both groups are plotted on the left y-axis. On the right y-axis, the difference of the group means is plotted along with its 95% confidence interval. This visualization provides more information than a p-value alone, as the upper and lower confidence limits show how large and small the effect size could be. The effect size confidence interval can be used to reach the same conclusion as the p-value that most people look at from these tests, but offers a more informative way of inspecting the results of the test. If the 95% confidence interval includes zero, as shown on the graph on the left, the p-value will be greater than 0.05, and if the 95% confidence interval does not include zero, as shown in the graph on the right, the p-value will be less than 0.05. Another way to show significance on a graph in PRISM 9 is with the all-new automated stars on graph feature. Simply perform an appropriate analysis with multiple comparisons and automatically add these results to the graph with a single click. For customization options of these lines and asterisks, Simply click on the toolbar button again and choose Format Pairwise Comparisons. I'll choose to display p-values instead of asterisks. And note, if you make adjustments to the data or analysis, the results displayed on the graph will update automatically. The last major feature we'll discuss in version 9 is a major expansion of the multiple t-test procedure, which now includes unpaired t-test with Welch's correction, paired t-tests, ratio paired t-tests, the non-parametric Mann-Whitney test, the non-parametric Kolkomaro-Smirnov test, the non-parametric Wilcoxon matched pairs signed rank test, and surprise values. 
Other enhancements to existing features include row statistics, which allows for calculation of means with custom confidence levels, and two-way ANOVA where main effect only models are allowed. With this feature, you can perform two-way ANOVA with no data at some row-column combinations. These are just a few of the many new features and enhancements in PRISM 9. For a deeper dive into some of these topics, see our feature-specific videos on PCA, estimation plots, bubble plots, multiple t-tests, and the multiple variables data table.